This seventh edition of Global Trends is called Global Trends 2040, A More Contested World. And we chose that and we're emphasizing that particular theme because we see increasing division, fragmentation, and greater contestation at really every level from societies, states, and the international system. You know, we're seeing increasing debate about what are the foundations of society. You know, we're seeing political fragmentation in states in every region and of every type. And then in the international arena, we're seeing an you know, growing rivalry between the US and China. As you know, the intelligence community provides analysis for the range of US policymakers on a daily basis. Uh, we often unpack events in individual countries as, as well as individual trends and dynamics in the world. Those dynamics that kind of have a long trajectory. And if you're looking at trends, you, you both have to look back to see where it has come from, but you also need to look forward to see where it's going. And, and there's a lot of data out there that helps us forecast, particularly on those very foundational trends. So we look for the best data, the most up-to-date data, the new modeling that's out there. We talk to a wide range of scholars in the United States and around the world. I think there's one thing we have to remember, and I think all intelligence community analysts um, would say the same thing. We don't predict the future. That's, you know, we're not in a crystal ball business. You know, we're in the business of understanding the data, exploring what are the patterns and the trend lines and where is, is it going? Um, what are some events that might disrupt that? Uh, so much of global trends is really looking at those patterns, looking at those traje trajectories, looking at those trend lines to see, again, where do we think it's going? Then we're attempting to weave them together. What's really fascinating about global trends is not only to kind of look at individual trends. So looking at demographics, economics, the environment, breakthroughs in technology. But it's when you layer those and put one on top of the other and say, where are those going when we put them, put them together? If this book sparks that conversation and, and isn't just read and dismissed, then that's good. Um, it's even successful if people fundamentally disagree with it and challenge it. Um, that might be the best of all possible worlds, that someone reads it and says, that's not our world, that's not where we're headed, and this is why. That's success. It promoted a conversation, it promoted a reaction. You know, if you think we're wrong, tell us. That's okay. But we're having that conversation about the future, we're having a conversation about what are the decisions and what are the dynamics that will potentially take us there.